Susan. Well, yesterday I spent most of the afternoon on a training session which I had been putting off and not wanting to do. The thing is, last year I started doing these webinars and videos and putting myself in a position where I felt uncomfortable. And although I still don't actually like being in front of the camera, I'm getting used to it. Now, the training, of course, was <laughs> about video making. <laughs> and I'm laughing because I'm laughing at myself. I had avoided this. I did not want it. And yet I knew I was going to do it. So I made a commitment that on Monday this week, starting this week, I would start this training. So therefore I had a week and a half. And I actually forgot it was Monday because I was doing something and went, uh-oh, I have not done my thing I said I would do. So I went into the SFM DA Elite Training and went, time to start the videos. And I went, all right, push the button, sat there, went through the first one, hey, that was great. Easy to do an overview of notes because from my way of learning, I take notes. And what I found even then was I was absorbing a lot and saying, yeah, I, I agree, I've done this and I've done that. Came the next one and I went, two hours. Oh boy, that's a lot of notes. Right. So what happened was I had my, um, I down the road and I, I bought an exercise book. And in that exercise book, I might read But instead of lots and lots of words, I was able to draw a box and a light source and a light source and a person. And that was it. I knew what it was because I did research last year. And I checked in Google search and the texts and went oh, confused. And then I went into Google and Yahoo and Google's YouTube and went visual. I understand visual. I'm a visual learner. And in there I went. I think I surfaced about a week and a half later and was able to in between buy one light and go back and buy another light and worked out that I still needed two more lights so that I had lights coming here, lights here and the shadows behind me were basically starting to be removed. Well, that was the big challenge. I've done so many videos with that. <laughs> because I needed, of course, at 5 o'clock in the morning, nobody was going to wake up. And so the camera was over there, and the lights were being changed here, and then I'd stand in front of them, and, hi, and then go back, turn the camera off, move the lights, to a different position. I did that about 15 times and then when you didn't mark where you put the lights. <coughs> so what I did was I replayed the videos and went, oh, I remember that this was, and so I was able to use that, oops, I made a mistake into a positive thing and fine tune the area that I thought was not, was the correct one. Believe me, I had a tape measure then and measured it from here to here and here. Lots of pieces of paper. However, I've changed my room around and I have to do it all again. And it 